Poland continue to battle. This could be a chance out in front. Scores! Fine finish from Pachut. Went 5 hole and Bounds was beaten. GB caught running around. I think the issue is that it's the one-on-one -on -one behind the net. As a, in, your, in your own end, you always talk about you need to get stops early and, and you know, credit to that guy. He, he span off a couple of times and, and found room in the slot. Here is Weaver to Lakovic. Clark making strides to the net. Goes to the trailer. Shot scores! Craig Peacock finds the net. Really good play from Robert Lakovic, who had a strong end to the domestic season. And he picks out the pass. Just smart. Clark makes the space. And Peacock finds the net. County moves the puck to Lee. Lee steps in, snaps it, good save. County has to scurry. Gets there. GB keep it alive. It's tight. Shields can't keep hold of it though. It's a hard one off the boot. Weaver will keep in. County keeps it alive. 37 seconds remaining. Tied hockey game. Shields again to the top of Mosey. Interesting using Mosey on the blue line here. Here's Weaver. Sends this one through, scores! Deflection out in front, I think. It's the high tip we were talking about. Shields will probably get the credit for this one. And GB lead by two goals to one. Yeah, now it comes behind, just kind of round the clock a little bit into Weaves, and it's a nice shot. No. Quick shots on the angle. Ivanovic. Poland in possession, working a chance, shoots and scores. The game side at two. A great snapshot from the far side. Moved all the way around. Space to walk in here, and that's a good goal. Less than 30 remaining on the power play. Under three minutes remaining on the game. We're tied at two. Do you know we go to penalty shots if it's tied? I was going to ask you the same thing. It's the, the one question I didn't bother asking before I came up here. I guarantee nobody down there knows either. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes sense for both teams as the shot will come. That's tipped eyes oh, in! Off the stick of Robert Lakovic. He went to block the players. Dronia wound up. It shattered his stick in two. And Poland have a third goal. I'm surprised in some respects they don't just go for a penalty shootout in this way you've got a chance of crowning the building. Here's Farmer, walks in, here is Farmer, SCORES! Uh, Forehand, can, backhand, shelf! You can take that back to the power play goal they scored when unfortunately we had the delay of game penalty, that's justice if you like. But um, defenseman tries to make use of it with his glove and Barnes makes... It's not the first one he scored like that this year, because I've been on the back end of one of those from him as well. Mosey. Here's Lakovic. Wanted to return the favour there. Could be a two-on-one break, you know. Connor gets back in a hurry. Nearly gets the intercept. And then he does. Scruffy then gives it away. Could be a chance side of the net. Scores! It's all over with 10 seconds to go. In overtime. Big turnover. And Poland profit. The Piercek is the man who scores. 
See this one more time, Ashley. It's kind of an on-man rush, and we have, we've got good possession of the puck. Yeah, we just don't get it over, and keeps it, keeps it low. Bouncy can't get down to it. Do you enjoy that? Yeah, it was, uh, it was obviously a fun game. They're a very challenging team to play against, and yeah, we I think we played a good game and we we learned a few lessons, and hopefully we can take that into tomorrow and have a good game then. Nice goal as well. Talk me through it. Well, we we, did, uh, we had the play off the face off where Benny was gonna gonna throw it across and I was gonna blow, and it just uh, fell to me and. I, I like that move and it worked for me, so that was a good, good goal. It helps when you've got the big wingspan as well because you manage to get outside the post and, and still flip it home. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I like to do that all the time. I think everybody everybody knows it, so uh, sometimes it doesn't work, but today uh, it worked and uh, yeah, it was an important goal for us at the time. You missed out, didn't you, in February? And I know it was a bitter blow to you. How excited are you about being in the mix to go away? Yeah, I'm very excited. I love playing for the national team. I think uh, there, there was a there was a great vibe coming in from, from last year f all the way through to now and we're looking to push on and have a good tournament and it's, yeah, it's great to be back in the team and hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully I go to Zagreb and we have a good, good week there. You had an amazing last weekend, you won the playoffs, you had imagine a few celebrations. How hard is it to get off the high to, to get back down to doing the, the real work if you like? Yeah, obviously uh, it's, well, it's not difficult because uh, I think all, all of us uh, from Nottingham, who, who had that experience, we, we knew we had to knuckle down. We had it in our heads, and we were all excited to be here. And and yeah, we had we had a bit of fun after last weekend, obviously, because uh, it was it was championship for us. But we're we're ready to go now. And we're excited for the opportunity uh, in Zagreb. Have you done enough? Do you think? What's, what's Have you done enough to book your name on the trip? Oh, I, that's a, that's a big decision. I just work hard and see what happens. What would it mean to you to be there? Yeah, a lot. Obviously, I, like I said, I love representing my national team. It's a fantastic experience. We've got a great group of guys, great leadership, and and it's representing your country. It's it's a great honour, and I think everyone in that room wants wants to win gold and wants to progress GB hockey. So it's it's a very exciting opportunity, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully get to go. Your GB debut. How much did you enjoy that? It was a lot of fun. You know, the the guys pretty much welcomed me. Well, I would say pretty nice, but I got a little hazed a little bit, but. You know, it was, it was a great game. I think you know the the guys came out great, and I thought we played pretty well. There's there's some times where you could tell we got a little overwhelmed, but I, I thought we bounced back pretty pretty good. And I think every time they scored, we had, we had an answer for them, and, and we played our systems pretty well. So I thought overall it was a pretty pretty good g debut for me. Was it a bit different to what you've experienced before? Yeah, it's a completely different style of hockey. You know, the uh, Poland's pretty good at at systems and and supporting each other and coming up with speed, and and it's just. It's, it takes a little bit to get used to because they're, they're so strong and, and down low they control the puck so well and they, they come up with a ton of a ton of uh, pace and it's just it's just hard to get used to but it's uh, it's gonna gonna be a little crash course for me. You look excited about this whole experience. It seems to be something that's really energized you. Is, is that the case? Yeah, of course. It's you know it's a great opportunity and it's it's great for my family and it's it's something to. For me, it's what I've always wanted to do. That's why I came to the, the British Elite League. It was one of my goals to be able to play for, for Team GB. And it's just one of those things that, you know what, it's a really exciting time for me. And it's exciting time for, for the guys in the room. And, and you know what, I think we've got a lot to prove. And I think, you know, with the skill set we have, I think we'll be, we'll be really good this, this tournament. What was it like when you stood there and you got a chance to listen to the national anthem, but with that lion on your chest wearing a GB shirt? It's it's really good experience. and. You know, it's something to be proud of and, and everybody on the team, something to be proud of. Everybody's here for a reason and, and everybody's, you know, the best British hockey player in, in the league. So it's, it's something to be really proud of and, and to wear with honour. And what about the words for the national anthem? We saw you singing this week. <laughs> have, you, have you kept going with that? Yeah, I, I pretty much nailed them. I, I had one little slip up, but I think it was the pressure that got to me when I <laughs> when you get up there. No one really realizes how, how painstaking it is to turn around and see about 15 guys with cell phones <laughs> already videotaping you. So. I think the pressure got to me, but I, th I thought I did decent, not good enough for American Idol or anything. <laughs> Still something to work on there. Yeah, no, yeah, I got to work on the voice. <laughs> Just finally, I got to ask you about your dad. He's been here, he's been running around with his GB top on, he's <laughs> been really excited. It means a lot to you, but it, it means an awful lot, doesn't it, to your family back home and, and also here? Yeah, it's, it's huge for my family, you know what, it's, it's something for them 
to talk about with everybody and my dad's extremely proud and same with my grandma who was, who was born in England. Uh, she's super, super proud. My grandpa passed away this season so he wasn't able to see it. He was born in England too. So you know what, it's just, it's one of those things they're super proud of and, and you know, it's, it's been one of my goals since I got here. So they're just really excited and happy for me to be able to do something that I love and, and do something that I put my mind to. What did you learn then from watching your troops out there tonight? Well, we definitely had a bit of fire in our stomachs and I thought we battled hard against a real, a real good team. They were a point away from Pool A. Um, I thought maybe the second period we, we, we hung in there a little bit. We never gave them a lot of grade A scoring chances, but we got lost a bit in the zone. We talked about that and I thought the third period, if you look at the shot count, they had a few, but there was a lot of shots for the outside. You know, we took a penalty with two minutes to go leading. Can't, we can't be doing that. Um, right, it, was, it was almost like the perfect practice for tournament hockey, that wasn't it? It probably was. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully we don't do it again. Um, but I thought some of the stuff we done was good. I think there's, you know, we have to work more entries a little bit. I think we didn't really sustain any pressure in their zone enough. I think you can't do that. We can't be just giving the puck up, even if they're trapping and not getting it back. Or we've got to create battles, so maybe we have to tomorrow make more rims and wrap the puck and try and create more battles so we get pressure in their zone because that was a problem. I think.